In this video, we're going to continue on with our data attributes, but now we're going to focus on the JavaScript part where we can do an on-click with data attributes. So in the previous video, I already explained about the CSS and how we can apply CSS on data attributes. So now what will be very nice is to continue on where we can do, for example, here an on-click. So what I want to do here is, you can see here, when we click on this red item, we want to convert it into green because this to-do list means or at least when it's green, it would indicate that we're done with the item here. So let's start to look at this. So how can we do this? Well, the first thing what we need to do here is we need to put an on-click here. And this on-click will eventually have a proper name. So we can say here, um, uh, task complete, I guess. That would be maybe a good one, complete. And then here, what I will do is I will say, this equals this, or the argument is this. And what will happen with this would be if we click on it, we will pinpoint exactly this item here. To make sure you understand this, I'm going to do here the following. I'm going to say here our function, and then we're going to say here task complete. I'm going to grab here the task complete, and this task complete has this parameter, and the parameter equals this. So here we give it another name because we're not allowed to use this in here because this will give you an error. So we can say here, for example, item. And what I want to do now is just to say console.log, then we say item. And if I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, click on this, and you can see here now, I click on this, and it will show you the task complete information with the eat fruits. So if I would have another one, we could do the following as well. So this is very nice, very flexible as well. If we can do it all, we can put it on every one of those. So let's save this and refresh. Now if we click on buy bread, what will happen is eventually we'll see here, if I click on this, the marker and the information of buy bread. So this is all correct. And this one shows us the get coffee item. So that would mean that whatever we click on, it will recognize the item I click on and we can pinpoint that specific uh, list item in this case and give it any kind of JavaScript functionality or design. So this will save us a lot of headaches because sometimes you have multiple and how would you be able to get them with the this functionality you can create that or you can quickly get whatever the user clicked on. All right, so now we have this. So how would we convert this here into from urgent into done? Well, basically grabbing this data, uh, data set or data um, attribute. So in JavaScript, they're calling them a data set. So what we're going to do in here is the following. We're going to grab here the item here, which is basically this list item here, or this entire tag. Then we say a dot, and then we grab your data set. And this data set, we say again dot, and then we grab here the name of it. So this is very important. Data dash is required. And this data dash equals data set in JavaScript. This is why we have this here as well, the data dash. So anything after is the one that we're going to pinpoint after the dot here. However, JavaScript doesn't allow you to use here the dash. So it will grab these two words and make it one word, but kettle case or camel case, whatever you want to call that kettle or camel case. Basically, the first word will be with the small, small letter. And then the second word, which is the status here, capital S or a capital letter. So that's capitalized. So then what we will say here, this is the status is right now urgent. So when we click on it, we want to convert this into done. So the moment we do this, save that. And let's change this one here into pending. So we get a different color here. Save, refresh, and there you are. So if I click on eat fruits now, there you are, it becomes green. And there you are, it becomes green as well. So this sounds very very minor because it's more a css item but we can progress deeper and deeper and do a lot more so you can imagine if you're very familiar with airline seats this is the way they do it where you select a item the seat and then it will give you a message this is the seat you selected and then it converts into a a gray or, or a red color indicating what you selected and everything else what is not able to sit on or to click on will be in a different color and I use basically the data attributes here with that. 